Bangor firefighters continue to mourn the loss of one of their own, a firefighter who took his own life last month. The conversation around mental health for first responders has come up again, and officials at Bangor Fire are looking to change the stigma surrounding that. Sarah Whaley has more on what's being done to help those who help us. We have to get rid of the stigma. It's a must we get rid of that stigma, both from inside the department and externally. First responders are our local heroes. The want to help society, to give back to your community, um, that's what got me into the fire service. But what happens when they carry traumatic experiences they endure for too long? So 13 years ago when I started, um, processing mental health was not um, a big concern. It was the suck it up and be a man mentality. Willie says that's no longer an exception. We've developed this uh, peer support program with our partners at the Professional Firefighters of Maine and the International Association of Firefighters. With this partnership, they have clinicians on call to help process the initial exposure to a traumatic event. Willie and his fellow brothers and sisters are working hard to knock down the stigma that prevent firefighters from addressing mental health especially when you lose one of your own. All first responders, in the, whether it's fire, police, military, in the moment, um, we are professional and task oriented. So we bury those thoughts. Um, those thoughts get pushed back while you hear the screams and the horrors of the families that are, that are going through that process. And then afterwards, we go back to the station a lot of us bury that. Local psychologist Dr. David Prescott says feeling frustration or sadness is common, and sometimes, especially for first responders, it's a process of healing. It is hard to know that somebody you cared about died or somebody that you are a first responder. The first responders see things that a lot of us don't see. Those images are really hard to get out of your head. So I, the other thing is I try to get people to be patient. We all would like to heal up and feel better quickly and sometimes we just can't. Willie and his fellow firefighters will always show up for the community, and they ask that the community and city officials stand up for them. Somebody's gotta do it, and when we are called to do this job, we do not ignore that calling, and we're gonna come here and do everything we can to provide a level of service to the citizens of Bangor they deserve. All we're asking for in return is that we get taken care of too. C.R. Whaley, WABI TV5 News, Bangor. And if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, you can dial 988 for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.